What is going on, everyone? Welcome to our third Slayer reaction. So exciting. It's a Slayer's second full-length album, but our third reaction as we had the Haunting Chapel EP in between these two. And God, I, I am so excited for this album. I am too. You uh, mentioned it. Fantastic album. Uh, it's the, this is the only album I have left that I haven't heard anything off of until, I believe, uh, Undisputed Attitude. So I'm going to this one. With no knowledge and no and no telling of what this record's going to sound like, what the styling is. Uh, so I'm really, really interested for this record. Yeah, I mean, I'm most excited because this really is the album that seems to start the, the golden run of Slayer albums between Hello Eights, Rain and Blood, um, South of Heaven and Seasons in the Abyss. It goes to that four album run, you know, legendary, you know, some of the best thrash metal music that's ever been made. So I'm excited to really hit the first album that that starts off that run. Yeah. Um. Before we get into it, I'm really intrigued to see how Slayer goes on with this album. Just looking at the track listing, there's only seven songs and it's almost it's longer than Shona Mercy. Yeah. So I'm interested to see if there are longer songs and what they do with these longer songs like exactly here the title track is over six minutes long mm -hmm. yeah so it's going to be interesting to see how they uh how they approach the longer song i mean a song like chemical warfare right that was like six minutes yep that didn't feel like that six minutes so maybe we'll see a lot of the same on this album very similar to that song i'm anticipating yep it's gonna be a good one though yeah i'm really excited i'm really ready let's get going You know, it's funny. This reminds me of like 515 from Slipknot. Like just the noise and the... Oh. This is interesting. Definitely not the way I expected this album to start. Fucking banging. Really long intro. Okay. Yeah, I got a long intro here. Long Metallica level intros. Really, already two and a half minutes into the song. Wow. Hit the hat. We're gonna hit the halfway point before we start. Oh, here it comes. Show of power on the throne. Angels fighting in the streets, don't die by the sword. I need your healing on the side to get 
Oh, that was so cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go, Dave. Wow. Banger. That course was super cool, how the drums kind of went out, and you just had the the guitar going. Yeah. And then, and yeah, and then that hell was freaking crazy. Tom was just... It's Tom was spitting. Oh, my this God. This is true. And then just the, that was the layering so on hell awaits itself, it almost really sounds like, you know, something from... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's what they're going for, but... You know, you were like at the beginning. You're like, uh, this is like a metallic intro. What are you talking about? Like, like you're like two and a half minutes in the song. Lyrics this are just not, started. Oh, you have no you know? idea. That's not even metallic. That's yeah. longer than a yeah, metallic song. On. Is waiting until getting in the lyrics. So I, I don't think I, I don't think there's any metallic song that takes over three minutes to get to the vocals. It didn't take over three minutes. It, it was over three minutes. Was it? Oh. Yeah, it's over three minutes. It almost half the song. So basically, it was like an intro. It was and like then, almost yeah. like an intro track. Plus, then yeah, hell awaits. Because once you once the main riff kind of kicked in, it was pretty typical. Yeah, that I was fantastic. Interested to see if Jeff was the only soloist on that yeah. song. King did get a little um solo at the end there, but I don't know. Has Jeff had a song where he's the only one who's solo? I don't think so. I think anytime he solos, Carrie's also soloed. Because I know that I've Carrie's had a lot of yeah, songs Car where he's just soloed. Carrie's had a, a couple where it's just him. Yeah. So in interesting, interesting. Interesting intro. Yeah. Great song. Yeah, I'm really excited. Kill again. Let's do it. Another like five minutes. I thought we were getting away from this for some Yeah, right?
Oh, I like this one, how it's, we're up higher. Get those higher notes in there. Yeah. And the bass cuts through so good in so many of these parts. Oh, I like that lead in. Yeah. That was nice and high. Wowza. Those ending screams. That's dead. I thought it just... It totally sounded like someone who just lost all control of his voice. Yeah, yeah. kind of did. I think that was the point, though. Yeah, I I loved my favorite part of that song was probably the that riff that had that double bass behind it. I mean, that mm-hmm. one just smacked. It was super. Where the good. double bass was kind of the fast part, and they were kind of just yeah, it was simple chords. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was super good. I I'd have to agree with you there. I thought the leads were nice. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Jeff had a good intro on the I first like one. I like Jeff's lead in, yeah. He had the to his first. little tapping section mm-hmm. in that second lead he had. Yeah. So I thought it was a all round solid outing. Again, yeah, just that long intro. Mm-hmm. Oh, another. It's like interesting. It's like once that riff change happens, it's like okay, the song could have started like now. And not saying that I I dislike the intro, but it's just yeah, it doesn't feel like the song until they hit that point because it's a very clear like okay, this is now the riff that's just, the song. You know, they have like almost like a count off. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is finally thing to say about that. All right, all right, let's do it. We're going back up to six minutes. Oh, right now. At right, dawn they go. sleep. At dawn they sleep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those harmonies don't agree with each other. But it's weirdly enticing. Yeah. That was good. I loved the way he picked that up. Now we grooving. So cool. <laughs> That bass. Maybe 
bass tone's pretty clean, actually. What was that? The bass tone's pretty clean, actually. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Getting faster. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Tom with the writing credit. Oh, look at that. Mr. Lombardo! Oh, oh it doesn't end on a clean hit. That was so good. I would honestly say it's my favorite one so far. I would agree with you. Holy great. shit, dude. That was great. Hey, and what a fucking... Um, what a great job to uh, get back into like the feel of the song. Yeah, what a great, great groove, and then holy shit, yeah, just speed it up, and then you hear Com just scream "Hill" four times. It's fucking awesome. As they fully get back up to speed, that's that was great. Oh my god, that was yeah. something they hadn't done before. Oh. and that sounded great. It was so fun, and then fucking Dave going crazy right at, at the, the end, end there. Uh, the the bass coming through in the middle section as well. Yeah, tone was pretty clean. It always okay. kind of is, you know, yeah. ba bass, you, yeah. storting bass too much just starts to sound kind of shitty. Yeah. So, yeah, your bass is always going to sound a little bit cleaner than the guitars, you know. Yeah. Stored it too hard. Yeah, it just sounds like shit. Yeah. But yeah, it was super cool. Super awesome song. Give us a different sound, you mm -hmm. know. That one felt like it justified the six minute mark. Totally. Like, Hello Waits took like almost half the song to get into it. Yeah. Say, this kill one, again took really like two only minutes. Took like yeah, this one maybe thirty seconds. Yeah, this one was fully like six minutes of. Yeah, this yeah. is a full six minute track. Very cool, very cool, very cool. All right, excited for the next one. Here we go. Praise of death over five minutes. Yeah, I mean they all are. I mean this. Yeah, is, yeah. Here we go. Starting off stronger this time. Crazy good fill.
monde I love thrash. Song's over. Yep. Yo, if you were on vinyl, like hearing this on vinyl for the first time, you'd be like, oh, all right, cool song. Not over yet. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. Hello Waits and Kill Again were pretty good, but I was like kind of expecting less out of the album after those two songs. Like at at Dawn They Sleep and Praise of Death, like Yeah, I don't know, I liked those a lot more. Those were so good. Yeah, dude. Not that those first two songs were bad by any means, just mm -hmm. like, oh my god, these past two were so good. Yeah. That was great. You know. The whole middle section was nuts. Yeah. Fucking yeah. a thrash song having a good middle section is imperative if you want to have a good, mm -hmm. good song. You can have a good intro, you can have a good chorus, you don't have a good middle section or a good solo, it is it's hard to get through. Yeah. Hundred percent. So yeah, I mean they killed it. They've killed it this album yeah. so far. I don't really have much more I mean the bass solo was fantastic. Like the little bass lick. Yeah, the little bass lead, I mean Yeah, it wasn't a solo. It but, wasn't necessarily solo, but the little, the little, little lead there was nice. Yep. And then solo's like crazy. Mm-hmm. Dave going crazy, Jeff going crazy, Kerry going crazy, Tom going crazy, everyone's going crazy. It's just a great song. They just went crazy. They just I guess that's crazy. that's that's uh there's one thing to take away from that song. Yep. That they went crazy. We're over halfway through the album now, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. How many more times can you say crazy? Oh man. What's this next song's gonna be called Crazy? <laughs> it's not. It's it's much cooler than that. It's necrophiliac. That's a pretty awesome That's name. a pretty awesome song title, I'll tell you that so much. Let's see. Ooh, under four minutes. Whoa. What are we seeing here? All right. What are we, we trying go. to trying to shorten our songs here? What are we doing here? All right. Let's go. Ooh, harmonies. 
I love me some harmonies. I love me some harmonies. Pulling out all the stops now. <laughs> he is God. Just not showing in the middle God. of first. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what an interesting field change. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Such a good groove. Yeah. effects there it was really nice oh gallop give us a little gallop of course oh my God, we couldn't so have a lead without it being so fucking crazy yeah Huh. I gotta say, it's probably one of my favorite songs so far. Really? I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd put it over either of those past two, but I still really liked it. Oh, I don't know. It, it's close. The last three have been fantastic. Yeah, it's been banger after banger after banger. How much longer can they keep it up? Nope. They had a six Actually, minute, six 40 second song. They're, they're, they got their almost near seven minute song following this. So. Oh but you goodness. you know with the title like necrophilia, the gonna song is going to be absolutely gonna be good. fantastic. Gonna be good. It's just going to be a good song. You know it. You don't title a song that and just have it be a stinker. Yeah, it's true. Um, one of the things I want to note though that I was thinking about during that song is that there are songs that you enjoy and there are songs that are really good off first listen. It's always something that needs to be addressed because. Like, Hell Awaits and Kill Again, great songs, but first of all, they're at a disadvantage because they're at the beginning of the album, mm -hmm. so they're hard to remember. And B, you know, some of the things in the songs maybe didn't hit the same, weren't as shock value E. Yeah. The stuff in the past couple of songs. It doesn't mean they're worse songs, and by mm -hmm. the end of the time, maybe they'll like them better, who knows. Mm -hmm. But it is a good point to know that first listen is all about what is so impactful, not what do you learn to love. Yeah. You know? 
So I think that's just really important when going about listening music in general, mm -hmm. just not taking that first listen and thinking that it's going to sound the same every time you listen to it. Yeah. It could change and it could grow on you as you yeah. listen to it more. So well, and having and, the patience to mm -hmm. listen to it several times can really help you uh, find the uh, genius in it. Every yeah. Song. Well, and some of it is like listening intently, listening mm -hmm. is a much different experience than listening passively. Yes. And you're going to hear new things passively. And once you passively listen a bunch, then you'll learn the song and then you'll really enjoy it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's lots of different ways to go about it. But just something I want to bring up. It's a fair point. But I'm ready to get into Crips of Eternity if, unless you have anything else to say. I don't got anything you think you had uh, wrapped it up pretty nicely there. All right. We're going to start with the lead here. Let's do it. Ooh, oops. Oh. Oops. Come on, you blew it. Silly blunder. Ooh. Ooh, that part was cool. Yeah, a little bass like. It almost sounds wrong. I know. Funny. That's a long build up.
It's really well put together. It's emphasizing the bass and the drums, all of it. Yeah. Okay. That was a long screech. Wow. That was a long song, man. There was a, just so much going on. Like at a, after a while, I was just like, "Okay, man, I just gotta like pay." Hey, there's so much going on right now. Yeah, yeah. I can't even remember what the beginning of that song was. The lead. Oh yeah. There's a lead with Jeff. That was that was nice. I will say that was yeah. That was a nice lead. No, it's a very good song. It was it was really nice because it kind of like it like the whammy. I think it was the whammy bar. He kind of like just sits there and kind of just has the note and kind of like a dive bomb. Mm. And so it was really long, and it just went right into the intro of the song, pretty much Super where it kind of nice. sped up in classic Slayer fashion. But um, no good song. Good song. Hundred yeah. percent. That's a song where it's like there's just so much going on. And there's so much contained in it that mm -hmm. it's really hard to kind of judge it based on one listen. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like I'm just like I, I. I that was a long song. It was a banger, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So my my words are kind of limited. I don't know what else you have to say. I don't really have too much. I I liked the, how in the middle there was that section where it really felt like the bass mm -hmm. and the drums were the driving. Force yeah, they were. It. Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. Guitars yeah. almost took a back. Talking about they did, and I, I loved some of the unison work between the bass and the drums. You know? Yeah, it was super, super well. It was super tight in the rhythm section for this song I, in particular. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. That was one thing. Yeah, I wanted to know. So okay, we got one kind of, more left. Yep, we got one more. And it's probably my favorite song title. Hardening of the Artery. All right. Oh, we end on oh, under three, under four. So we're ending I don't know on what, a... man, what if, how do you come up with a song title like this? I, I, I've got, I've got it. I've, I'm just so intrigued how a song called Hardening of the Arteries is going to sound. Well, we like, are, like, we like a like... song like Necrophiliac, that's a great song title, but you kind of know what that's yeah, going to be. Yeah, you kind of know, gonna... know, know what to Hardening expect. Hardening of the Arteries. You have we'll no idea. What is that song like that going to sound like? All right, here we go. Let's find out. Hardening of the arteries, finishing off Hell Awaits.
Ooh, chunking at the end here. Yeah, super interesting. Yeah. It's exactly how it started. With a long Kinda, yeah. fade in. It's going to end with a long fade You're out. Right, yeah, it did. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Well, there it is. Hella Waits. Hella Waits. What? The oh, one? It's my favorite song. It must be on like the, like the, um, like auto. I think once the album's over, like just start playing a radio or something. Oh. Maybe. I didn't know what that was setting. But wow. Hella Waits. Yeah, I'll give a collect for that. Good song, man. man. It's good. For a great album. That was a good song, Hardening of the Arteries. Actually, never mentioned Hardening, hardening Arteries, but it was still very good. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Had a nice little cadence to it as it kind of faded out. It kind of almost felt like how Hellawait started, but I don't know exactly if that was how it started. Yeah, it was a good song. A good album. Hmm. Well, he's gone. I'm going to go ahead and give you all my three standout tracks. And I think I think it's the middle three. I think it's the middle three. At Dawn They Sleep, Praise of Death, and Necrophiliac. I think those are my three standout tracks. On first listen, the other four were great. I think all four of those tracks are going to take a little bit more uh, to digest and kind of really um appreciate i was just telling them that the middle three songs are my standout tracks yeah i was gonna agree completely i i didn't think we'd have any sort of um disagreement yeah, yeah. i thought that was pretty clear cut for both of us I mean, uh, they are just the standout tracks from the first listen for sure yep and i was just saying that it's the other four they're just gonna have to take some yeah. time to kind of but they'll similar just, in, i mean yeah and songs, just for me to appreciate them yeah, yeah. It's not about uh, good or bad. It's about mm -hmm. just taking time to, to understand them. And... Now, before we go, uh, I mentioned to you about this just to, while we were talking, uh, just kind of qu uh, quizzing you on I, on something real. Uh, cause I, I, I know you're a big fan of set lists. I love set lists. So um, we didn't do this for the Show No Mercy reaction, so I'm going to include both Show No Mercy and Hung the Chapel in here. But I want to ask you and see if you can guess the song that's been the most played oh, it's Halloween. in that album. And the least played, so show no mercy first. Show no mercy will be, um, I'm guessing the Antichrist. That's not it. Show no mercy title track. Mm -mm. Fight till death. Mm -mm. Die by the sword. There you go. 889 times. Wow. What about the least played? I'm gonna guess Cryonics. Nope. Tormentor. Yep. Only fourteen times. Wow! All right, on the chapel. On the chapel, it's gonna be it's gonna be chemical warfare the yeah. most over almost fifteen hundred times. Yeah. And then, um, but right, um, captor of sin. Mm -mm. I forgot the last one. I forgot the name of the last song. Aggressive perfecter. Yeah. It's not that one. Oh, right. so then it's, it's haunting the chapel. chapel. Okay, one hundred eighteen. Now, all songs played from this album. What's the most played song from this? Oh, album? it's yes. 
1,386 times. Least played Crypt of Eternity. Wow, you're really good at that. <laughs> 29 times. He's good at this. Look at this well, I, mean, I mean, when you really think about it, I mean, come on now. You got title track versus, like, super, super long track. I mean, Hell is long, but it's also the title track. Look at this. All right. I genuinely don't know, like, what was, like, the super popular song from this album. I think it was more just, like, this is an album that's appreciated more for its just just as an album more so than just, like, one or two songs. Yeah. 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 Like, it doesn't have the song, like, like the, like the Rain of Blood or like it, Angel of Death. It doesn't have, like, the singles, if you will. Yeah. Like South of Heaven or yeah. any of those. Totally. Yeah. Great. I think the strength of this is probably consistency and probably just yeah. all the songs are just consistently strong. Yeah. 100%. Um, with that, though, I'm ready to close this video out. Yeah. I don't think I got anything else. Fantastic album. Yeah. I mean, we all know what comes next. Yep. We all know that this long song stuff does not stick around. Yeah. <laughs> Rain and Blood is under half an hour long. Yep. 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 It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. And um, with that, though, also remember to check out the past two Slayer reactions that we've had on this channel. Yes. And all the ones that are coming out after that, they're all going to be in the card right here at the end of the video. Because there's by the time you're seeing this, there will probably be more out. Um, but if not, there's already ones that have already been out. And if you've seen everything up to this point and you're here at this point, you've seen everything, then I love you. Thanks. Um, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I can't wait to see you guys for Rain and Blood. Let us know what your three standout tracks from this album are. Oh, yes. I, I'm, 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 I'm interested. Yeah, I want to see. We I There's see. lots of people who love to share their opinions in our comment section. So please tell us what your favorite songs are. Tell us, yes. Till now, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.